Hey Power Users, Zbigniew Pukowski here and in today's episode we will look how to copy one or many Power Automate actions inside, outside of the flow. Yeah, that's it. It will be a quick tutorial. So first of all, let's start from the beginning. If I have one action, then this is fairly simple. I copy to my clipboard and in my clipboard I have all the actions which were prev previously copied to the clipboard during this session. So if I will leave the sessions, those will be blank. But the problem is how to do it in many, in case of the many action, and how to do it outside of the flow. So to do this in, um, in the regular fashion, you'll have to use the action scope, which will which can have actions inside. So I cannot do, I cannot copy it here, but I can, of course, copy to clipboard and then add action and and use it from the clipboard. Hop, add action, use another action from the clipboard, etc. And now this scope is just an action, right? So I can also create a copy to the clipboard and if I add an action, I have the scope copied. So this will work. This will inside there will be there will be the actions which I copied. They are not the same as the actions which I have created already because uh, the names uh, were changed because there there cannot be any same names in Power Automate. So those were changed. If I will use any different flow and so. Let's go back, let's go here, let's edit and I go to the next step and create a scope control. Then all the actions with the original names were copied, so this is working. So why copying in this way will be better? Because you usually need to have your scope in your Power Automate flow, the try, the catch and finally parts of your Power Automate flow will be easy to copy uh, inside or outside of the flow without much clicking. Uh, this is this is also working. Remember that that when you copy this scope and that there are no, for example, I have composed of a variable which is not in the scope, then the flow, the new flow, which was which this action was copied to doesn't create automatically the the action you need so it will not recognize the variable if it's not in the scope and thus it will fail so remember to either copy all action or to recreate action in your new flow when you are copying the actions so this is it hope that was helpful and see you later Zbigniewkowski out I remember I have many other videos on Power Automate, Power Automate Desktop, Power Apps, Power Platform in my channel. See you later.